What is up guys, DJ Rick Webb here. First off, at the time of recording this video, we just passed 300 subscribers. Let's go. On today's video, we're going to discuss the benefits, the pros and cons of either working for an LLC or DJ corporation where you got multiple DJs versus doing it all on your own. So I started off as an individual and I eventually worked my way into where I'm in now. I'm part of an LLC DJ group thing, a uh, whole company. And I was asked to do this video to talk about the benefits of being part of an LLC, the pros and cons of it at least. And there's a lot of different LLC DJ groups out there. You got all the way from where you're just part of kind of like a wedding planner. I'm going to talk mostly about weddings, by the way, because that's the field I'm mostly in. You'll have a, it's kind of like wedding planners, and they basically just book you for you. You don't have to do your booking. You don't have to do your advertisement. You just get booked through them to do your weddings. All the way up to where I've seen where they provide all the equipment for you. All you got to do is bring your mixer and your laptop, and you go out and do the wedding. And... It just varies on different uh, LLCs and groups like that. You get different benefits from it. So I'm going to talk mostly about the LLC that I work for, the benefits I have, and the disadvantages as well. And then at the end here, I'll talk about being an individual and how that differs. Mostly, it's just going to be the opposite of whatever I say is the advantage or disadvantage for working for an LLC. So the fact that I started off as an individual, I already had the equipment to DJ. So joining this LLC, I didn't have to rent equipment from them, which I could have done. I could have got equipment from them and went out and DJ. And occasionally when I do bigger stuff, I have to do that. But since I had the equipment, I get paid more than if I would uh, borrow the equipment off it, you get paid at a lower rate. So since I own the equipment, I get paid more for that. One of the main reasons why I switched, and this is a pro for being part of the LOC, is they handle all of my booking. So I currently am in college. I have a real job. Uh, on campus, I own a phone repair company now, partnership. I'm a partnership. Ugh part-time owner now so I really don't have time to do my booking so they handle getting brides because we're a big LLC brides call in asking for DJs because we have nine DJs now now everyone in the LLC has a different price we get to control what price we want to charge in our LLC we get suggested price for how much we should charge but we get to control what we want to make. Our, my LLC that I work for, when they are booking clients, what weddings, they don't go off of numbers. They ask first what they they base you off experience. There's a list of the DJs, what they're good at. So mine would be hip hop, rap, slightly country, uh, young, really good with the mic, entertaining. Sort of, Each person has their like five things that they're good at and stuff like that. And then brides can choose accordingly from that. The downside to that is you could be making more as an individual if you did your booking because I don't get all the money when it, that the bride is paying the LLC because the LLC takes their cut for the LLC, the cut for paying the coordinator that books everyone for us, the person that takes care of all the taxes. There's another pro. Being in an LLC, you don't have to do the mess of what it is to do taxes and all that crap to get started off. I know what it is because I've done it before. I did it for my phone repair business. It's not that fun, especially when February comes around. So we covered booking brides. They help you out. They do all the advertisement for you. They also, in my LLC, they will meet with the bride and groom for you if you are not available to meet with them, which with my busy schedule, I'm normally not able to meet with them. That's something I really struggle with because I really like to meet with the brides. It's really nice to get to know them and just meeting with them. It's a big connection. It helps you. It just helps a lot if you've ever been in that situation to meet with the bride ahead of time. But that's an advantage and a disadvantage for the LLC. I briefly covered equipment. Um, one 
big advantage to having an LLC that you work for is equipment in a lot of cases. Not all LLCs or DJ pools that you work with have the equipment backing that the one that I work for does, but mine has equivalent to, I think now, a million dollars in assets. Um, we are also an event design company as well, so we have tables, chairs, hardwood flooring, pipe, drape, all that jazz, and overall working for them, that's a big thing we can push to the brides and grooms and high schools and stuff is we're an all-inclusive group because we do everything. We'll design it, we DJ, we even have photo booths and all kinds of stuff like that. The equipment asset of working for an LLC and the package value is incredible because it's really easy for the booking agent to pitch that to a client that we can do everything and we can bundle it to make it a better price. Music. This was mentioned in the comments. Someone asked, where do I get my music? Working for the LLC that I do, and I know a majority of the DJ uh, ones out there that you can work for have music libraries for you, which is huge. I think uh, down at the LLC, whenever I need music, we have internet hard wired hard drives so I can access them if I have internet anywhere on my computer um, I think they're like the my cloud I don't, I don't know what they're called so I don't have to purchase my own music anymore although in some cases for weddings and stuff there are those special request songs that we don't have so I have to download them in that case I'll use iTunes but for the most part uh, the amount of music we have on those hard drives is plenty for what we need to do. So let's talk about some of the disadvantages and also the advantages if you were individual. Individual, like we said, pricing, you can charge as much as you want, you control the booking, all that sort of jazz. Second, I consider an advantage, but because some of the LOCs I know out there, you are forced to use their equipment, they don't allow you to use your own. Um, you can buy whatever equipment you want to use for your setup. A lot of LLCs require that you have a certain sort of look to your setup as well, uh, which we do, but it's very minimal. All we have to have is that facade in front of our, um, that's how we brand DJ Associates, our LLC, is with the facades, which I already had one to start with, kind of because I mentored off of Chris, so it just went hand in hand. But um, if you were an individual, you have freedom to use whatever you want. You can use the Chave um, color pixel thing. There, there, I'll put a picture here. It's for DJ tables. It's really cool. I know a few DJs that use it. I wish I could use it. Yes, I've been eating Oreos during this video. Another advantage I would consider is that you're 100% in contact with your client from start to finish. In the LLC in that you really don't get the initial reaction, the initial talk with them, you don't really have a full understanding of what they know a lot of times and there's a lot of feedback and a lot of a lot of downflow of information. Uh, working individually when I did that, uh, brides would contact me individually or I would meet them at the bridal shows. Pro tip, if you're a wedding DJ, find the bridal shows in your area and go to them. They may be a little pricey at first, a hundred, couple hundred dollars to get into it. It is well worth it to get into a bridal show, even if you can only do one. You'll meet so many brides and it just gives you a bigger presence if you're an individual out there. Back onto that, you meet the bride and everything firsthand. You talk to them throughout the whole process. You meet with them. You meet with them once, twice, you, and then you see them out at the, when you're actually doing the event, you get to see them out there. They know you by name by then, and it's just a lot more connection between you and your client, and it just gives a better impression on your business that you are fully into your uh, DJ business, and you are a higher value of product for them, or a higher value of service for them. Going along with this, the probably the biggest advantage to be doing it, uh, doing your DJ business as an individual and not part of a pool of DJs and stuff, is that you can stand yourself out and you can build yourself as a DJ. Let me explain. In a DJ pool, in that 
we all rely on each other to represent the business. That means that if one of the DJs in our pool goes out and they do a mistake or they mess up or they just something bad along the lines happens, that reflects on every DJ in the business. That's a lot to rely on, especially since uh, brides and everything are out at each event we're doing. There's people out there watching. So if someone messes up, that all comes back on us. So we live and die by everyone else out there. If you're an individual, you go out there, you make the presence for your business. You have fully 100% control of the image that you are giving to the clients, the brides, the grooms, everyone out there in the audience of what you do, what your business is, what you're capable of, your experience, your talent, your excitement. You are in full control of that. Now I'll go along with that, uh, the LOCs and stuff like that, when brides call in, a lot of times they will say what DJ they saw somewhere and they want that person. So in a way it's an advantage to be part of an individual group because you control the image that you're providing. In an LLC you're counting on everyone else. To go along with that, it's an advantage to be in an LLC because you have nine other DJs going out almost every other weekend at different events showing what uh, in this case DJ Associates can do and a lot of times like I said when a bride calls in and says they want this DJ a lot of times maybe that DJ is not available they can the booking agent can then recommend another DJ in our arsenal of nine DJs that would be available that evening to provide the DJ service for them so in a way we have a bigger presence market wise having multiple DJs in our group but we have less control over our image because we're relying on many more people I hope that makes sense well, guys in a way to wrap this video up I'd kind of just like to say that individual versus LLC DJ group it just comes down to what your opinions are mostly it comes down to money and time if you have the money to afford all the equipment along with that if you have the time to manage your business run your business book all your clients pay your taxes all go to bridal shows if you have the time to do that along with the money to build up your business and start your business I think it's a good investment to do it individually at least in my opinion that's what I would do that's how I started I invested my money into it and build up individually it's just at this time I don't have the time to do the marketing to do the booking thing. I barely have time to meet with brides as it is now so that's why I switched to an LLC DJ group that's the main reason why I switched there's all kinds of other little advantages like the music and the equipment aspect but overall it was a time decision for me if I had the choice I would have stayed an individual if I had the time to keep up with this business which I just I just don't alright guys I think that's all I have for working for an LLC being an individual how to set up your DJ business if you have any questions any comments leave them in the description below I answer every question that is posted there almost within two minutes of when they're posted because I get the notifications on my phone and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if this video is helping for you it help help explain some stuff about DJ uh, individual LOCs and stuff share this video share it to all the DJs out there it would help out other DJs as well Remember to subscribe, new videos every Tuesday, and for the most part, new videos every Friday, uh, pretty much. And that's all. My name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning, and I'll see you guys next time. Quick little idea slash comment for you guys. I want to know if you guys like this idea. So leave in the comments below if you like this idea. I wanted to start sort of like an audio segment questions, answers sort of 
series. Um, I've spent a lot of years on perfecting audio, um, being EQ, how to set up your speak powered speakers correctly. I've spent a lot of time on speaker placement, uh, how to increase decibels on subwoofers, subwoofer placements, what works, what doesn't work. I've spent a lot of time investigating into this and that probably has something to do with the fact that I'm an engineer. I'm going to school as an engineer. So I've looked into a lot of audio engineering and videos, tutorials. I've talked to a lot of experts. Uh, just wanted to know if you guys thought that might be interesting if I started a little bit of series on how to like maximize slash make yourself sound as best you can with the equipment you have or what equipment you need uh, to do that speaker placement all that sort of jazz if you like the idea um, yeah let me know in the comments below if you like the idea I think the first video I'm gonna come up with is how to properly set up your powered speakers being with gains EQs all that sort of jazz and that'll be coming out next week so if you guys like the idea let me know in the comments below bloopers low battery I gotta go change the battery now ah, that's better. Where was I at? Shit.